I want to wait. This is a little off topic, but I have to ask you. Off topic? <laughs> On this show? <laughs> um, sorry, I just felt there was something. <laughs> I thought there was someone here. I, uh, no, Is I. It <laughs> oh, oh, these aren't real. Oh, um, it's okay. You only need two hands. You might. Three would be good, but two is definitely enough. <laughs> and you just kind of. <laughs> is this how you do your tights in the morning? Wait, wait. I think. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Wait oh, that a one's minute. so dirty. So sorry. <laughs> Look at that. Wait, wait. Wow. Look at that beautiful. Look at this. No. Oh, oh shoot. My oh, breasts, oh, my boobs, and my titties fell. <laughs> I want to paint you a picture just again really quickly. No, I don't. I already did. Oh, we're featuring a, a, a mild case of titties today. It's a small breast. <laughs> it's a small breast, you guys. It's a conservative breast. Well, my customer and I have, she's been doing two different sizes of breasts. For some of the little 60s looks, we do mosquito bites. Look at you, my costumer. My, I mean, it's <laughs> <laughs> You're like Kylie Minogue over here with Dolce & Gabbana. All right, let's roll the tape. Let's roll the tapes, Bob. Hi, we have complimentary Coke products on board and wine and beer available for purchase. I'm Trixie Mattel. And I have shut the door on the spiritual realm. So if you are a psychic medium or tarot card reader, I insist that you not make any more videos of me using divination, Katya. And welcome to uh, the show where we talk about whatever we want. Cause it's our show. And not yours. Es la verdad. Not yours, baby. No, it's either our show or it's not. How about this? This is my acting scene. Hold on. <clears throat> my audition. I never said I was the perfect mother. Give me a little credit, would you? Credit for being someone who tried to love you the only way she knew how. Horrible. What was that? Soap dish. Oh. Terrible. The movie? No, my thing that I just did. No, well. Razzie. I, mean, I also don't believe you're a mother with those rubber tits on. <gasps> now I'm a victim. <laughs> I'm a victim of a crime. You know what, Beth? Oh, no, 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 no. You're fired. No, 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 Mrs. Lewinsky, you know what? I quit. Great. You can't fire me. I quit. No, I said it first. I just did it. And you know what? Now you're not getting unemployment. All right, well, come to the streets and eat the shit out of my panties, because guess what? I quit. You know what? You're hired again. I like your style. I like your attitude. All right. Can't do attitude. I will accept that position with a 1.2% raise. Nothing spicy. I I'll will be, be up all night. <laughs> Good. I'm making Szechuan. <laughs> I saw Chicago seven times in the theater. I saw it in London at the, whatever end it's at. West End? Yeah. Guess who was <laughs> Roxy Hart? I want you to guess. Guess who was <laughs> Roxy Hart? You're never gonna guess. It was Brooke Shields. When I say to you in English words that the cartwheel that she attempted at Hot Honey Rag at the end, the big but up, but up, but up, eh, but up, but up. I would love I to try to show it to you. Can I try to show it to yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. My, is my mic gonna fall off? This is what it was. This is an apron, by the way. Can you still do cartwheels, real ones? Absolutely. I love that at this point you're a paper doll. Just only front. It doesn't even look that bad. How could it? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in the role of Roxy Hart, so, Brooke Shields. So da 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 ba da ba da ba. <laughs> no. I was like, as the director, I've never directed anything in my life. I'm like, maybe we'll skip the cartwheel, Brooke. We'll just skip it. Oh, I, oh. I'm gonna tell you what this is. This is, oh, okay, tell me. This is Pandora Box working at Charming Charlie's. I was gonna say this is detox as a, uh, in her 60s. Yeah. Going back to college. This is Carol Channing beginning aerobics. And raspberry. <laughs> and to be real, seriously. To be railed. To be <laughs> Yeah. I once saw, I was in Wales, alone. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is that funny? Can I tell my story? <laughs> the play Wales? No, you oh. <laughs> You fat <laughs> I was. 
There's a gay Dumb. about a, a big fat gay person called a whale. There is? Yes. Oh. And that was a really funny joke oh. you just made. No. I was not in Wales, the play. I was in Cardiff, Wales. I had the night off. Oh, gosh, it was gotcha. October, and the the touring production of the Rocky Horror Show oh. was playing. And you know, in the UK, that's huge. Is it? It was so good, and I'd never been at a play where the audience is like laughing, and the people on stage are like reacting to them. Uh -huh. It was like a Peaches production. Oh yeah, very we've interactive. Done, we've done Peaches Christ productions. Those are some of the most fun I've ever had. By the way, the people at home are like, who the f is Peaches Christ? She's that on Drag Race. Who the f the is that flop? She she's die until she gets on TV. F her, that old fat bitch. Peaches I hope Christ. that old fat whale drowns. Yeah, no, she, she dies. <laughs> um, Peaches Christ is a very famous, famous drag queen who does stage adaptations of movies. Lovely we, gal. We were in a Romeo and Michelle parody called Trixie and Katja's yeah. High School Reunion. You're kind of entering your Betsy Johnson phase with the makeup. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. oh yeah. And also, spiritually, interpersonally, I think we could see the rumbling of what's to come. <laughs> you know what I mean? The doldrums were up. Uh... cracks in the veneer. <laughs> it's like Native Americans listening to the ground to hear the stampedes a little bit. Um, do you love straight plays? Uh, straight plays? Like, no music. Drama? Uh, play. No, I think they're boring. Uh, this three-act three Irish play called By the Bog of Cats that I saw, that was three acts that were like two hours each. Bitch, it was so long. But Who's at the going end, to that? They get naked. Swain, the main character's name is Hester Swain. And at the end, she slits her own daughter's throat on stage and you watch a child bleed out and die. That's worth the wait. And that's <laughs> when I bought a season pass, honey. <laughs> what about Steve Carell and Jennifer Aniston on The Morning Show? Never seen it. Me neither. Perfect. <laughs> Steve Carell. Jennifer Aniston. T. T. I will not tolerate any J. Aniston slander on my TL, as she is an underrated comedic and dramatic <laughs> actress. My first husband was murdered by my family, but thank God, Shake Shack has a pride shake for me. <laughs> when my wife killed my extended family, I was sad, but then the driving it in and out really cheered me up. What about dressing for your age? What age am I dressing for? I mean, you're dressing for 16 in France in 1972. <laughs> you know. What are you dressing for? I'm dressing for 48 in, on Long Island in 1999. Recently divorced. Yeah. Recently yeah. divorced, looking yeah. for love. Yeah. When I lived in small town America, yeah. The news, nothing really ever happens. Like, I remember when yeah. Teresa Halbach went missing, making a murderer. Yeah. Wasn't far from where I'm from. Really? We heard about that on the news for two damn years. What My grandpa, that? two weeks into it, going, Jesus Christ, she's dead. <laughs> she's dead. Why are we, oh, she's dead. What We're about, not gonna <laughs> fight. Like, for years, we heard about it. So when making a murderer came out, I was like, we know. Again, we not know. again. I would love to be featured on the news in a good way. Not in a bad way. Have you ever been on the news? Not on the news. You've never gotten out to do Dirty Ted and Stephanie on ABC5 never in Clintonville, once. Wisconsin? Never once, not one time in my life. It's horrible. And then I walk in and Beth from Channel 5 is like, your no. hair is bigger than mine. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, you're bald. <laughs> I look like Howie Mandel and Barbara <laughs> Mandrell. <laughs> Put together. <laughs> Go back to go back. Uh, if the explore page on your Instagram is in the last 50 years, you're doing it wrong. Go back to the 20s, 30s, and 40s. Get some. That's what people want in drag. Gibson girl. Yeah. Um, Women's suffrage looks. <laughs> depression era chic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or just depression. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever an Uber driver? In the eye socket. <laughs> so, wait a minute. You don't like to take a nude. Absolutely not. This is what I will do. I will establish a booty call, meaning I will, I will give as much information with enough uh, visual reference of my personhood. Wait a minute. So you're not sending a single nude? You're uh, describing your body like you're in no, AOL chat? Listen, listen, listen. No, like Edith Wharton. I pen it out with a calligraphy. No. It's more I, of a, it's, it's more of a, it's more of a um, ink blot kind of, see, you see what you want to yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, what, what do you see? <laughs> <laughs> Does it look like it to you? No. Yeah. Um, Is no. that eight inches or four? Well, what do you I want don't it know. To be? <laughs> what do you want it to be? I guess um, in conclusion, yeah. I, I am reaching a point in my life yeah. where if the temperature is not right, I can't do it. No. What, what you're saying to me is, I know we're shooting you in a snowsuit in a parka. Yeah. 
We don't have air. All right, action. Yeah, it's like, I know we need you to be clean, pristine in a teenage dream. Let me smear some shit all over your face. And if my job was to look horrible, I'd be like, leave the heat on, I don't care. Yeah, if, you, if your job was to look horrible, feel miserable and not deliver anything of value, come to my camera. <laughs> bad news. I have to give you some bad news. What? No, 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 I'm just gonna say it, like hypothetically. Oh, okay. Trixie, I have some, I have some bad news. Uh-huh. Are you, are you sitting down? Uh, yeah. Are you in a space, an emotional space to, to handle some pretty heavy? Yes. You are. are I'm you very sure? secure, baby, are you secure? I'm, I'm extremely secure. I am, however, the bearer of extremely bad tidings right now. Yeah. And I just wanna make sure that you have the emotional bandwidth to deal with what I'm about to tell you, cause it's gonna. I'm just glad you're not stretching it out. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you're not making it more of a situation. Your whole family has been murdered. And not only that, if there's video footage of them being tortured for three previous weeks before the murder. Has their debt been absolved? Uh, no, in fact, it's been compounded and transferred to you. Damn it. However, there's one last thing. I was the one who did it. You're taking this really well. Well. <laughs> You're an no, optimist. Just, at least I know who to send a fruit basket to. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, no, man. I won't kill my family. <laughs> <laughs>